calling the committee of the whole meeting to order. Uh, we'll start out with the roll call. Uh, Alderperson Ackley. Betty, did she, she left, okay. Um, Alderperson Decker is me, I'm here. Alderperson Feldy. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Rainey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Okay. Uh, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance <coughs> to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, is there anyone here for public forum? There's no one this here? evening. Okay, we'll go right on to item four, approval of minutes from the committee to hold meeting from September 6th. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any comments on those minutes? All in favor? Any opposed? They are approved. Okay, item for discussion. Number five, resolution 79-2223 by all the persons Feldy and Felicki Paneski, establishing the 2023 budget appropriations and the 2022 tax levy for use during the calendar year. Caitlin, I guess you're the one to start this off. Great, thank you. Thank you. I have a two slide PowerPoint. So <laughs> keeping it very short today. Okay. So, on the screen first, I have the budget timeline just as an update um, of where we are currently. So we're at the Committee of the Whole update um, where I'm just giving you a brief uh, update on where the budget is today. And then uh, next Monday, the 24th, will be the public hearing in that proposed final version of the budget from the City Administrator's Office with my assistance will come forward. And then the November 7th Common Council agenda will include the uh, finalized version of that proposed budget for possible action. So where we are uh, as of today, uh, we had the preliminary deficit uh, presented a few weeks ago and that was $192,580. The state of Wisconsin, uh, we did receive those aid um, estimates for 2023 and we were lucky enough that it did increase by 202,000, almost $203,000. So we had a surplus for a moment of the $10,000 uh, with the ordinance that was just passed uh, tonight We um, for the $15 minimum wage. We now have a budget impact of fifty dollars to $60,000 that I mentioned. So tomorrow I'll be looking uh, to adjust the budget to account for that. So we will have a revised final balancing and review tomorrow to make sure we do account for the additional pay for the positions. And then the Department of Revenue, we still are waiting for those final assessment figures. Uh, those are what determines the tax rate, the final tax rate. And I guess I lied, that's three slides. And so this is the point where the committee um, has the opportunity. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments after all of the committee meetings that occurred last week, um, this is a chance for you to bring those to my attention so that uh, Administrator and I, Wolf and I can work tomorrow to include those in the budget if there are additional uh, changes that you're requesting at this time. Okay, thank you, Caitlin. Uh, does anyone have any questions or comments about the budget? Any questions at all? Anyone like to bring forward? Going once. Go back. Go go ahead, Alder Rust. Uh, I noticed that we spend $100,000 for SEDC. We give basically the Sheboygan um, Economic Fund money. What do we as a city get out of that? Because I know we spend $100,000 as well as the county, and that was an initial thing, and we were supposed to, they're supposed to find monies of their own. And so I'm just curious what the city is getting out of it. If we're, let's say, $100,000 and 85,000 of it goes to Howard's Grove. What do we see out of that? Chad, are you, I guess you, if you want to. Thank you, it? Chair. So that actually does come out of the development budget. 50,000 is budgeted in the general fund and the rest comes out of tax incremental financing uh, district funds. 
Um, what I would say is like you said, it was originally in there as a uh, seed money and once they raise enough private uh, funding from private sector, they we were to back away. It's been uh, 12 plus years that we've been funding that organization. I think on a day to day, um, you know, there is some partnership that happened, but it's not a ton of, um, you know, that we get some referrals from them. A lot of the stuff we're, you know, handling and, and leading ourselves. Um, so, you know, I think it's, it, it should, it could be something that's looked at long term and, and how much we, you know, continue to fund. Thank you. Uh, you have any questions on that, Alder Ross? Yeah, so if we, so are we, the county and us, are we the only ones that are funding it right currently, or are they able to fund themselves, or are they still relying on that after all these years, even though they had the understanding that they were, we weren't going to do this forever? I, right now, the county is funding 100000 and we're funding 100000 Yep. Um, other municipalities in this in the county are funding their share of their population. So okay. in Plymouth, it's you know seven to maybe fifteen thousand, and then it you know goes down from there. There's a number of private sector companies, the major ones that we know of, Kohler, Johnsonville, those, and a bunch of other ones that are funding. Um, I think their budget is about six or seven hundred thousand. So we're probably a third of it, but there is substantial private contributions as well. Thank you. I guess my concern about this is the citizens of the city of Sheboygan are paying for this double. They pay county taxes too, so they're paying for it again, I guess, and that's my, my concern on this. We're, we're getting double dipped on a lot of things when it comes to, and I guess uh, I, that's, that's my comment on it. Uh, Alder. It's not about this topic, so if there's still conversation, I have another question. Oh, go, go ahead. Okay, perfect. Um, and this is for the fire chief, public safety. Um, I am recalling that you were sending some of your fire staff to do national training, state training, backup. Can you refresh my memory about that? And is it in this budget? So are you referring to the Wisconsin State Task Force? I believe so. You take, you take your employees and <coughs> mobilize them for a state problem. Yeah, so that, okay. and that's all reimbursable by the state. So it's a zero cost to the city. Okay, so when your fire employees are off to training. Are we going to be paying overtime for the employees that are still here? How yeah, if, if there's overtime to cover their shift, yeah. And, but then we get reimbursed. So it, it's so a zero cost. Neutral. It'll, it'll end, yeah. neutral. Yep. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, anyone else have any other comments? I, I, I guess the, I, I did skip away from get, skip ahead on that one issue. Uh, did we want to make an adjustment to that SDC? Joe. Joe. Thank you, Chair. You know something? I wouldn't mind going down that path. Um, again, because we don't really see what we're actually going to get from our $100,000. Um, we'll be better off spending that money someplace else. We just took a $50,000 hit. So with what the resolution we passed, um, I, I would make a motion to re, uh, reduce that by $50,000. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second by anyone? I'll second that. Motion's made and seconded. Uh, any other discussion on that? Oh, oh go, ahead. go ahead, Mayor. Uh, let's see, where is he? There he is. So, um, you know, I know, and I, I just want to kind of offer some guidance to the council myself and Administrator Wolf both serve on the board for the SCEDC. I would caution just making a jump on this really quickly today. Um, I would advocate maybe having a larger discussion on this topic. I think on our end, we have to do a lot of planning um, 
as well and possibly invite the SAEDC to a city council meeting um, to discuss further about the uh, con contribution from the city as well um, in terms of what our relationship would look like um, with the county and this organization too. So I guess I would advocate against making this jump right away um, until we have further discussion or putting this item on hold. Um, we still have a few more budget meetings as well to discuss further. So just want to offer that advice before we shoot from the hip. Thanks. All right. Uh, Alder Pernesky. Thank you. Um, I too will vote against this. Um, it, I, I think if we do withdraw funds, I think there's an appropriate way. You say, this is what we gave you this year. Next year, you will see an X number of dollar decrease or X number of dollar decrease the year back. So I would be against just pulling half of the, half of the funding. Um, it also would give them an opportunity to move forward doing more development projects with us, basically. Okay. So I would, I would appreciate not cutting it in this budget. Okay, Director, Director Wolf. Thank you, Chair. Um, I, I also want to um, caution the council, um, as, as Alder Flicky Paneski pointed out, and, and as well as the mayor, making a really quick decision like this that affects another organization that the city has been um, a partner with mm -hmm. for a very long time. I would really respect that we, we meet with them, we talk with them, and maybe we, we let them put them on notice that over the next few years we're going to decrease our contribution. Um, if you think of it from a perspective, back in 2018, 2019, we lost a significant amount of money um, from Alliant Energy and we didn't know that was happening, put ourselves in their shoes, all of a sudden they're gonna lose uh, a sizable amount of money with, with no notice and I think that would be looked at in a, um, in a bad fashion for the city. So I'd like to have them come in, present to the council what their contributions are, allow the council to ask questions and then um, continue to make decisions from that point. Okay. Thank you, Director Wolf. Anyone else have any comments? Okay, there is a motion on the floor, though. I guess I do. Whoop! I'm sorry. Hello. Okay. Um, I know this isn't specifically about the SCEDC, but it's are there other city, are there other organizations that, or are there other yes, are there other organizations that come out of the city planning budget that we gift money to like this? This is mainly directed at Director Pelichek, but. I'm just trying to get some curiosity of like, this is the only one we work with or are there others? I think this is the only one we work with because the business improvement district is a special tax assessment that funnels through, but we don't make any contributions to any other major corporations other than professional organizations that we belong to. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Okay, um, so there is a motion on the floor, though I do have to have a have, have, to, have to do a vote on that. Um, do I do a roll call vote on this, or do I do a, just can I just do a? Uh, yes, at this point, you, I would suggest that you would do a roll call vote on this because you're actually making a, a motion to change the budget. Okay. All right. I guess uh, we'll go down the line, or. I can call or if you want. You can call it. You can go. Yeah, that maybe I, I prefer. Okay. <laughs> Alderperson Feldy. Nay. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. No. Alderperson Heideman. Aye. Alderperson Mitchell. Nay. Alderperson Perella. Nay. Alderperson Ramey. Nay. Alderperson Rust. Aye. Alderperson Salazar. Nay. Alderperson Decker. Nay. Seven nose, two eyes. Okay, that does not pass. Alrighty, does anyone else have any other questions, any other comments about the budget for Caitlin? Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's on. Um, oh, you're on. I'm sorry. You were on. I, I, I'm again, sorry. One more time. Hello. <laughs> okay, you're back on. I'm sorry. Um, in 
the uh, budget summary, you've got a section here for health and human services um, in the what we are estimating and what we're primarily budgeting for. Can you tell me specifically of what those funds are focused on? Okay. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. There you go. Yeah, I believe so, but let me confirm. Yep, it's 205000 I believe it's cemetery, but I'm confirming. Oh, so it's not actual services we're providing. Correct. For it, the that's, community. The, that's the classification that cemetery falls into with the state. Oh. Health and human <laughs> services. Okay. Okay. So kind of the opposite, you think, but I'm confirming, so bear with me. Okay. I kind of wish I didn't ask that. <laughs> Citizens don't complain much. No, they don't. Oh. <laughs> They're in my district. They don't say anything at all. I, I, I thought They're it was really involved. about like actual services we were providing. Yes, that is for the cemetery. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for that clarification. Okay. Anyone else have a comment or anything else? Oop, what do we got? Alder Mitchell. Go ahead. Thank you, Chair. Uh, just a quick general comment. I Really appreciate, again, everybody who's put work into putting this budget together. We've faced some interesting challenges over the last year from a budgetary standpoint. It's nice that our shortfall was short-lived and we didn't have to have a uh, you know bare-knuckle floor fight on where we were pulling the money from to cover it. So thank you, everybody, for your hard work. It does go recognized. Thank you. And I just want to echo those comments. I you think you guys did a great job. I know it's I know it's not an easy time this time of year for you guys at all. Uh, anyone else comments? Going once, twice. Okay. Um, I guess then with that that with that concludes our discussion on this. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion is made. We recommend the council. Oop. You, you should be sending the, the oh. recommendation to council. I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> hold on one second. <laughs> hold, hold on that. Uh, well moved. Okay. Who, Motion's who made and second to, to recommend to send to council. Trey Zach and Zach. First. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We will buy. It is that, uh, that we are approved. We're sending it to council. Okay, now we'll look for a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>